Hello, I'm here with Sarah Vreedy, Head of the New Zealand Debt Management Office at the Treasury. Sarah is going to update us on some of the key messages that were announced today in the Treasury's half-year economic and fiscal update. Sarah, what was announced regarding debt issuance plans? So today's announcement signalled gross issuance of New Zealand government bonds will be seven billion New Zealand dollars in each fiscal year from the current year ending in June 2018 through to the year ending 30th of June 2022. This will take total New Zealand government bond issuance over the period to $35 billion. However, maturities and repurchases over that period will also be close to $35 billion. So Treasury forecasts that at the 30th of June 2022, total New Zealand government bonds on issue will be $74 billion. And this is not far from the current level at 30th of June 2017. And how did these forecasts differ, if at all, from those that were announced at the pre-election economic and fiscal update? So there were two key um, differences, um, one of them being that in the year, fiscal year ending in 2021, so that's the 2020 to 2021 fiscal year, um, we've added $1 billion worth of bond issuance. So the bond issuance program prior to, to the announcements today was going to be $6 billion New Zealand dollars. It's now going to be $7 billion in that year. Um, as also, we added in the extra year into the forecast period. And normal practice is for the Treasury at half-year economic and fiscal updates to add another period into the forecast. So we've added that year, the 2021-22 fiscal year, and for that year we've announced a $7 billion bond issuance program. And are there any other key messages that you'd like to highlight? Yes, so this, the, the, um, at the half-year economic and fiscal update, the government has recognised the importance of maintaining a sustainable New Zealand government bond market over time. So it has today reiterated a commitment to maintain a minimum level of New Zealand government bonds at not less than 20% of GDP over time. And this is even in the circumstances where net debt drops below 20% of GDP. And what can investors expect in terms of syndications or repurchase activity? So as announced at, um, on the 6th of November, it's, our, it's the New Zealand Debt Manager's Office's intention to launch a new 20th of April 2029 nominal bond sometime between the 1st of January 2018 and the 30th of June 2018. As always, that will be subject to market conditions at the time. We've also announced uh, re or reiterated the announcement that was made at Budget 2017 that we will start a repurchase program of the March 2019 nominal bond. So we're targeting up to five or five billion dollars worth of uh, repurchases in the period up to the 30th of June 2018. And as, as is often the case, it's subject to market conditions, but also subject to our own portfolio requirements over that period. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you for joining us for this update today from the New Zealand Debt Management Office, alongside the Treasury's half-year economic and fiscal update.